everybody. Today we'll see how a Salesforce admin can resolve the queries or complaints that come to his desk when the sales reps cannot complete their critical tasks, such as closing opportunities and progressing within the pipeline, working on sales in Salesforce for some specific reasons that are concerned with some implementations of Salesforce done by the CRM team. Let's start with the story. The real story that comes from some of our customers is when the admin is asked to check why for some opportunities the sales rep can very easily close them, they can select closed one and that's it, no problems. However, for other opportunities, when you try the same steps and try to select closed one, the opportunity stage goes back to needs analysis. Same owner, however the opportunities behave in a different way when the sales rep tries to close it. So how can Panaya Foresight assist to understand why the sales rep cannot close the opportunity? Let's go to Panaya Foresight and I'll show you how it's possible to find the reason for this behavior using the Automation Overview feature. The Overview feature allows you to see the list of all the declared automations like flows, workflow rules, and process builder that exists in my Salesforce organization. It's possible in one list to see what fields are updated, what fields are referenced, and what kind of record object is being used for each automation. So right now, we will go to Opportunity, and then go here and look for updated fields because the stage is the field that was updated. Then type to just look for the stage field. Then let's widen the field a little bit. We can see here the number of automations and what we're interested in is this flow here that is active, the other flows are not active, and of course the workflow rule. The admin should select it and then click to view in Salesforce to see the flow builder. Go to the flow and click to update records to see what is updated here in this flow and he sees that the stage name is updated to negotiation review based on some changes in the tracking number. So this is not the reason. This flow doesn't do any changes to setting the stage to needs analysis. The next thing to check is the workflow rule and again click to view it in Salesforce. Here he sees that when stage equals closed one and opportunity account customer priority is set to high, the field is updated to stage analysis. He then understands the reason and from here can do a number of things. One of the things he can do is, if this workflow is not relevant, he can click to deactivate it. He can go ahead and check with the business users to see if this process is still relevant. He can also note whether this flow can be united or added to the existing flow that's also running on the opportunity as an additional condition if it's relevant. In this way, he can deactivate the workflow rule and instead add it to the flow and then delete the workflow rule. Because as we know, very soon Salesforce is no longer going to support workflows. So as you can see, the admin can very quickly understand the cause of the issue the user is facing, the fact that he cannot set an opportunity to closed one because there's a workflow that verifies the account priority. And he also notices that this workflow can be united into an already existing flow, and then after testing, can be deleted. This is how Foresight helps Salesforce admins to resolve one of their daily tasks.